Hey guys! So I'm usually blogging in this channel or making um, story time Sunday, but I'm going to be doing something different and this is definitely going to be a big part of my vlogging and making videos and hauls and stuff like that. So I just wanted to show you and I know I look hideous, but for some reason I am just always looking bad on camera, but it's okay. So I wanted a puppy, I'm going to tell you guys a really short story, I wanted a puppy since I was four years old because in my country we had, um, we had a few puppies and I didn't understand why here we couldn't and the reason being is that my parents don't like having animals in apartments, as you can tell I live in an apartment. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and show you, this is Benji, say hi to the camera. He is a Yorkie Boo and he is 11 months old. He's going to be one on June 16th. He's actually paying attention to me. He's like, what are you doing, Mom? And I know his eyes look yucky, but I have to clean that today. <laughs> are you falling asleep? Are you falling asleep? Benji! <laughs> he is so cute. But yeah, I got him from, it was a really nice opportunity and I got him from like a store. And he has two collars, one for his rabies shots and the other one, I mean two badges or whatever these are called. One's for his rabies shots and the other one's for like, the yellow one's for um, his information just in case it ever gets lost or anything like that. So I went ahead and I turned the camera around. Um, just the first thing I want to show you guys, this is a video of everything I have for my puppy and obviously I'm going to keep buying stuff. So here's his collar and it's a bow and it has like flat on it and it's super cute and he is brown white he is actually like a tan color or copper color white and little streaks of black he's super cute and I don't know if like this is supposed to happen but sometimes he'll have his ears up um I guess it's because he's kind of like a mix with a Yorkie and I think Yorkies have their ears up so yeah sorry guys <laughs> So here's my play. He is so cute. I think he's going to be a little bit better there. So I'm just going to leave him there. Here are his setups. This is where I keep his... Um, this is where he sleeps. That's his bed. And then he has a blanket that he is obsessed with. And he has his... Um, this is what I use to bathe him. It's actually his towel. His toys are in there. I'm going to show that in a second. These are diapers that I just take everywhere. This is a stain remover for carpet. I don't have carpet, but my floor does get stained. So, yes. And then I... That is actually a drawer of his stuff. But I took it out to show you guys. And then this is his little area. This is where I keep his wee pads. Right here is my door to get out. Um, some of his stuff that I use daily. And then... Ooh. Sorry, guys. If you go right here is his food. There's this floral thingy, and it's super cute, and it just holds his cups and stuff. He has water and food. And then the other one, the other... Um, food bowl that you see says yum on it and has a few a little bones and the reason why I have that is because his food smells weird I mean like whatever warm thing you put on the other thing it just smells really weird so yeah he is so cute say hi guys he is so cute okay I'm gonna put this Okay, so the first thing I want to show you guys is um, what I use for his wee pads. This is called, sorry, this is called the American Kennel Club Select Training Pads. And they are absolutely amazing. I could say that this has been the most effective. It's absorbent. It has a built-in attractant, so it makes Benji want to use the bathroom. Um, eliminates tracking. It's leak-proof. And it makes training really easy. It has, if you see on the back, it has seven layers, I think. There's six layers. 
and it's absolutely amazing. I would recommend that to everyone. Okay. Then the next thing I have is this out um Oxford Lasting Stain Odor Remover. It's amazing. I don't have a carpet, but I do have this floor and it kind of does stain, so I usually have that. And then we're gonna just go to his toys. And I'm just gonna grab the tripod real quick. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry you guys didn't see his EP and his weight pads. Okay. So they are his toys. I just want to show you them real quick. Right now he is using the cons. Uh, let me keep this out here. So you guys can see that. He's using the Kong. Oh, you guys can't see it. Hold on. Benji! So that red thing over there is a small Kong. It's tiny because he is so I decided to get him a tiny one. <sighs> and here are his toys. First thing I want to show you is um, the Kong treat thing. And it could I put it with his toys just because like it's more of a toy treat. So just so I have it next to his toy. Then I have these two ropes. Um, this one's for his TV. This one I just like to play tug of war with him. And then we he has this monkey which I got for like oh. For like 50 cents, I think. No, no, it was $2 at PetSmart. So he liked that. I'm sorry if you guys... This is another toy. As you you probably were looking at it, it was lighting up. It lights up. And then this is not a squeaker for a dog. It's actually a squeaker for a baby. But he loves to play with that. Let me see if you guys can... If I can put him towards the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Jump. He is too cute. All right, so I have that. I also have this ball, these balls that are like a dollar, and what I have them for is to play outside, fetch. But he needs like two more, no, four more shots to be able to go outside. So that sucks. <laughs> then I have this one, which is kind of the same thing as a Kong. I just put like dry treats in here because the Kong is kind of small but his little treats definitely fit in there and I used to use this for when like I was going to college co classes and he didn't like staying by himself it's like a Chinese Kong I guess it's like the same thing but it's Chinese I hate this chair guys I'm sorry um so I also have this phone and I only give him this when I'm around because it's very hard. It's like a very, very hard plastic. Like, if you guys... I don't know if you guys hear that. It's pretty hard. And then, it smells like bacon, so he loves this. I'm actually... I'm just gonna give it to him right now. I'm trying to give him everything I can so that he can, like, play and leave mom alone. Then this is another one of his favorites. It's just a passy. <laughs> he just wants every toy. So, yeah. Um, I also have a frisbee. I think I showed you guys. It says we'll fetch for treats. So, those are some of his... The, well, they're all his toys except for this one monkey. I have no idea where it went. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to show you my drawer of stuff for him. First, I have these shoes. There's four of them, but I'm just going to show you one. So, it's absolutely adorable. It's called Pets. It's like a Chinese pet thing. It's just super cute. The only things I get from China are toys and not toys, actually, because I'm actually freaking out about toys. But the only thing I get from China is clothes. Because it's clothes. So, yeah. So here are his shoes. I'm actually going to show you his food first. I chose... Okay, I'm just going to give him one so that he can go away. <laughs> so I chose um, 
Natural Balance as his brand for food. But I do give him different ones. This one I got by mistake. I was trying to get lamp. Um, this is lamp and brown rice. And I was trying to get the other one. Um, the small breeds. Because when you get this brand, it's actually for, from puppies to adults, as, as you can see there. And he has a puppy, and he is a small breed. So I kind of need small breed bites. So won't do that mistake again. Especially since it's like 20 bucks for per bag. Then I have these treats. I have the chew. And I got him a fruity one because he doesn't have any fruity treats. And this is for botanics and pet botanics and it's mini reward treats again this is something i don't give him like a lot something that i give him every once in a while you know and then i have all natural and this is american kennel club and i love american kennel club that's why i got it it's also cheap it's like 350 compared to the other dog treats and the other dog treats are like five each this has barley um brown rice and duck and he enjoys that a lot. Then he has this delicious dog, doggy delights or something like that. It's steak and cheddar potato. Something that, again, I don't feed him too often, but it's there. Then his absolute favorite, um, he's going to be a very peanut butter dog. These are peanut butter cookies, biscuits. I don't really give them to him a lot because <laughs> I feel like they're fattening, but he... They did tell me he was underweight, so he definitely is going to need some fattening, but I feel like I should fatten him, fatten him up with, like, better stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Then this is a homemade, um, bone, and as you can tell, he kind of had a little bit, and these they sell at PetSmart, so, yeah. I'm going to give him a little bit more. Okay. Here you go, buddy. Hopefully he'll leave me alone for a little bit. <laughs> he's kind of bothered. Like, you guys can't see him, but he's, like, wanting to play with me while I do this video. This is awesome. This is absolutely amazing. It's actually not for puppies, but he is going to be one, and he loves this. He will clean his plate. It's like a chicken roll. It's kind of like salami, if you guys know what that is. But <laughs> you cut it up, and you give it to him, You and it could be a treat. It could be a full meal. Or you could just add it to dry food, and he will love it. I'm also, I brought him duck. He also had lamb, but he already ate that all because it's probably his favorite. So, duck and turkey. This is what I will be doing next. I'll tell you guys how that goes. Then I have these. And then I tried to give him dry, um, wet food because the vet suggested it, but... There's so much noise. I'm sorry, guys. The vet suggested it, so I have this, but he doesn't eat it. He doesn't like it at all. So, yeah. I bought him three, and the three of them, I threw them out. He doesn't like it. This is something that he will eat, but I will be getting when he's, like, a little bit older because it's, like, for dogs. So, maybe in a few months, I'll be giving him this. And it doesn't, it's not going to get old any time soon, so that's pretty cool. So then I, I want to show you guys his clothes. Boop. Boop, boop. Uh, okay. So the first thing I got him, this was when I first found out I was going to get him. Oh, and I have him, like, for a few weeks now. The first thing I got him was this sweater romper outfit type thing. And, um, it's actually, get, it actually gets cold in my house, so, this is something that I would wear indoors, or I would put that sweater on with this whenever it's snowing or, like, raining, just in case, like, when, when it gets really cold, but I'm still walking him, because I, I can't wait to walk him, actually, like, he has walked a little bit, but I didn't know that he wasn't supposed to, like, the owners of... The owners that have him previously, which weren't, like, actual or owners. They were just, um, people. They were just, like, a breeder store. 
I'm not gonna mention it because I'm not very excited about the store. So yeah, let me just keep going with what I have for him so far. And then the next thing I thing that I have is this All Star shirt. It's super cute. And I have this Wolf Academy <laughs> University or whatever, and I think it's cute. So I, I got him that. Um, I also got him this shirt at PetSmart, which was one of the first shirts I got him. I'm never getting him anything at PetSmart again, like, as for clothes. Unless, like, I'm really obsessed with the item, but... It's literally, like, 15 bucks when I could buy it for, like, three or two online. So, never doing that again. Then I got this. This was three dollars, or four, I think. And I bought it online. It's from a Chinese place. And it is a sleeper. It's a little, like, sleeper thing. Um, and he can use it right now because it's not too hot, not too cold. Then I hunt with the big dogs, and I thought that was pretty cute. And then there's Superman. Oh, so really cute. And then he has a kennel club, kennel club or whatever bandana. Can you guys tell I like that brand? So that's pretty cool. And then I got this, which was from PetSmart. When you first get a puppy, they actually give you a few coupons, and it's super cool. It's like $20. But they take a lot out. So, and I get a free grooming thing. So that's pretty cool. I think in a, in a few weeks I'm gonna go take him groom, get groomed. But yeah. I don't know what you want me to like open it. So yeah, you see coupons. So I'm gonna put this back. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some of his products. I hate this chair. I really do, guys. So it's a washcloth, and I use it with this teardrop remover that which I have to use like right now. So yeah, it's for um, tear stains. It smells weird. I hate it, <laughs> but it removes the stains, and I guess that's what matters. Then I have this, and I can't really. It's a detangling spray, and I can't. I always change my mind, so <laughs> I have this other detangling spray, but it kind of smells like girly, so. And he's a boy. And then this is the most amazing one, but it makes him sneeze a little bit, so I don't really use it that much. Um, but this is not even a... It's just a fragrance body spray. It's not even a detangler. And then I have these wipes for when he goes outside and his socks are like... And he steps on something, but he hasn't been outside, so I just use it for when he steps on something that he shouldn't. Then I got this shampoo, <laughs> and it was for shed control, but he doesn't shed at all, so I'm just, I just use it if, like, I really, really have to, but I'm going to be getting him something else. Let me put this back. Sorry, guys. I'm kind of, I just have to put everything back. Right, right here. Okay, and then as for dental, I have this. Um, teeth toothbrush and spray thing I mean and toothpaste then I have this um, drop so that it doesn't smell so that he keeps his breath smelling nice then I have these two little toothbrushes and that's everything I have for dental life Then, I have, for his brushes, I have this brush. As you can see, I've been using it a lot. It, it's to detangle his fur. If I don't detangle it, he'll have, like, the only tangles. <laughs> I have this brush. Um, it was for, like, my guinea pig, but I decided to keep it. And then I have this little thing for when I finish. Um, this is for his drop, his eye drop thingies. I just, like comb it a little bit comb it out that way it doesn't stay brown this is for hypoglycemia or whatever it gave it to me <laughs> as you can tell he made a mess with it the first few times that i used it so <laughs> that's why it's like stuck to the bottle which is fine that's fine with me 
Then I have, these are the things I have to go outside. I have this bag of his treats. It's just mixed with his treats. I, the first time I took him outside with his collar, I felt like I was pulling on him and tugging on him. So I don't want him to like be choking. Hey, stop it. I don't want him to be choking. So I got him a um, harness. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. Then this, I hate it, but I didn't know that how bad it was compared to the regular ones. But this is to walk him. And then I, I have like these little bags that I have to get more of. I just don't get it right now because again, he needs like four more shots. So, and then I also have this to walk him. But I also take this to the vet with me. And I take the treat thing to the vet with me. I don't use treats because he gets car sick. But if like he ever needs it just there and then the last thing that i have is these itch and pain wipes it's just in case for again when i'm able to walk him if he gets itchy because of anything or he hurts himself who knows he likes to play with like big dogs and he doesn't know that big dogs can hurt him so yeah that's what i have and i will be showing you doggy hauls and i guess doggy blood and stuff like that if i take him anywhere so I'm excited. Right, Benji? Benji, are you excited? Ooh. Are you excited, Benji? Benji! Benji! He's like, Mama, why? Why is that there? I actually ch um, changed the setup because I don't know if I showed you guys his bone. It smells and tastes like. probably tastes like it. But there it is. Ben, do you hear that other dog whining? What, what, what's wrong with him? But thank you so much for watching, and there will be a lot of <laughs> videos of him. But yeah, bye!